first station I want to talk about is Aldgate. In particular, Aldgate East. Now it's on the Circle Line between Tower Hill and Liverpool Street, opened November 18th, 1876. Said, like many of the stations, to be built on the site of a plague pit. It was actually, according to the author, Daniel Defoe, who wrote Robinson Crusoe, he wrote a journal of a plague year. 1665 and he said a thousand bodies were buried in only two weeks in one pit and of course no doubt the station being on the eastern approach to London was heavily bombed during World War II so some say Aldgate is the most haunted station on the map and they say that the staff have a logbook of ghost sightings it was the story of an electrician who really should have been electrocuted. Many years back, he accidentally sent 20,000 volts through his body. I say accidentally, well, assume an electrician wouldn't do that on purpose. Anyway, he was knocked back. Apart from a slight bout of concussion and some bruising, he was unfathomably unharmed. Now that's amazing enough in itself, but the weirdest thing is that a couple of his colleagues had said that just before it happened, just before he was electrocuted and thrown across the platform, they seemed to see a transparent figure of an old woman gently stroking the electrician's hair. They call her the spectral lady. Whether this spectral lady caused the accident or saved his life, we'll never know. At Allgate, people often feel presences around them. They hear phantom footsteps behind them, which stop when you turn around. In the distance, they often see dirtily, shabbily dressed people at the end of a platform who then vanish when you walk towards them. And there was also a very creepy account of a man waiting on his own one night on a deserted platform and a black train comes along. And as it stops, he looks inside and everyone inside the train, the black train, was dressed in rags. Aldwych station. Aldwych is a disused tube station on the Piccadilly line. There was actually a theatre there on that side. It was called the Royal Strand Theatre. That opened in 1832. And in 50 years, it was rebuilt by quite a well-known theatre architect, Charles J. Phipps. And sadly, like a lot of these old buildings before the regulations and restrictions protection orders developed in this country in the 1960s it was demolished this Royal Strand Theatre in 1905 to make way for Aldwych Tube Station which originally opened in 1907 as Strand Station Strand being the old Germanic word for beach or riverbank renamed the Aldwych Station in 1917 It was one of those stations in London which, it happened so many times, it got closed because it simply wasn't used that much. And another station was built close by, and this station in in that instance was Holborn, H-O-L-B-O-R-N. During the wars, like many stations, they were closed for a while. And the tunnels weren't just used as a shelter for people, They were used as a shelter for treasures from museums, the British Museum in particular. One of those treasures kept in Aldwych Station was the Elgin or Elgin Marbles. 
and then it was reopened after the war. It finally closed on the 30th of September 1994. And I remember working in the West End back all those years ago. And I remember getting on one of those final trains. It wasn't on the 30th of September, it was probably a few days before. But I certainly remember Aldwych Station. So they did store things. The reason it actually closed, well, it closed because of Holborn Station opening, but in 1994, an elevator broke. It was quite a deep line, so you had to get a lift down. And it was debated if it should be repaired or is it worth it. It was just considered too costly. So now it's used, well, partly as a film site, part of Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, was filmed down there. Patriot Games, Creep is another film, and a film I had a tiny part in. Uh, v for Vendetta was filmed, and they do regular guided tours in Aldwych Station, but it is home to a few ghosts. Oh, and by the way, any gamers, level 12 of the original Tomb Raider video game is set in Aldwych Station. So it was built on the site of the old Royal Strand. Kind of seems fitting that it's resident ghost. People say it's an actress. An actress that once tried, once tried to become famous and died quite young, they say, and they say that this agitated actress wanders the station at night and the deserted platforms. Some people have said in the distance they see her walking through the tunnels themselves. The Bakerloo line, the number of passengers over the years, probably more than you would expect traveling north, have reported seeing, and this creeps me out, imagine sitting on what you think is a deserted train, deserted carriage, and you look at your own reflection in the window, and someone is sat behind you or next to you, and then when you look around there's nothing. And that kind of idea, seeing a ghost in a reflection in a window or a mirror, and then turning around and no one being there, that kind of trope, that idea, is used in so many films and TV shows to this very day.